Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? Welcome to today's video. My name is Robin and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my monthly income on YouTube for the month of June. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is a monthly update where every single month I like to publish my earnings. I like to be fully transparent with you guys and show you guys how much my channel is making so that I can keep track of things myself, uh, keep myself consistent, and I can also show you guys or anybody who's trying to aspire to build a YouTube channel that it is possible and hopefully you guys can get some inspiration for this video, but also hopefully like some of my regular viewers can kind of get a behind the scenes look on how things are going with the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my analytics. I'm going to be sharing um, my goals and directions where I'm going with the channel. And most importantly of all, as most of you guys probably want to see, I'm going to be sharing all my revenue that I've been making off this channel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. It's going to be a bit of a long one, uh, but if you get, if you guys do enjoy it, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more videos. All right, let's jump into my YouTube analytics and let's see how much money I made for the month of June. All right, guys, what's up? How's it going? We're inside my YouTube dashboard here. And before we jump into um, specifically a lot of the revenue and the earnings, stuff like that, I'm going to give you guys like a little overview of how my channel is doing, how the growth on the channel has been, and kind of what I've been doing differently this month to kind of help grow the channel over time. And this is probably what I'm going to do every single time I do these updates is focus on like the analytics and stuff like that. So you guys can see like not only how much revenue I make, but like what I've been doing to help grow the channel and how the channel has been growing because I think that's also some valuable information and, and all you guys who are like regular viewers of the channel, you could probably kind of see you know where I'm going with the channel and maybe you guys can like leave some comments here and there let me know how like how I'm doing and stuff like that. And um, because I will be changing the channel as things go because honestly, I like all the content I produce on the channel, but I'm definitely going to be focusing on the things or the, the type of content that tends to uh, work the best, right? Because that just makes sense. If you want to grow the channel, uh, you kind of want to do things that have been have been doing the best overall. And I've been experimenting a lot with different things. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be sharing sharing with you guys for this month what kind of what I've been doing for last month. So. The first thing we're going to do here is, as you guys can see, I'm inside my dashboard here. Um, I just published a video yesterday. It was my dividend investing case study week 27. If you guys don't know, um, the dividend investing case study series is like an anchor point in my channel. It, it's the main thing that kind of, I think, drives a lot of people into the channel. And it's a nice supplemental type of um, video that regularly gets views, you know, because people always want to check it. People always want to see how things are doing. I love doing the videos because it allows me to grow my, like really test my dividend investing and I can show you guys my results. And then everybody likes it and I love filming it. So if you guys can find some kind of case study or something where you can update on a weekly basis to your channel, that's a great thing to do, especially if you're a niche because they're super fun to do. Uh, people love them, people love to watch them and it adds up over time. You know, those views that I get on a weekly basis from, as you guys can see from this video, this video is my sixth of my last uh, ranked by views. It's six out of ten. So as long as you can keep your videos, I'd say uh, from maybe five to one ratio, um, that means your channel is growing, right? Because that means every single new video you publish is getting more views than the last one. So in theory, your channel is growing, right? So if you guys can do that, then that means that your channel is growing. It's very important. The next thing I've been trying to do is increase my click-through rate. And this is kind of tricky because a lot of it has to do with your thumbnail and then your title and just specifically what your video is about. I find certain videos have higher click-through rates than others. Um, and it's something I'm experimenting. I want to start trying to maybe do some better, higher quality thumbnails. I'm just not quite sure like where to go to get those. So I'm, I'm still kind of working that out. But might start doing some fancier thumbnails going into the future on the channel, especially since you can get them at a relatively cheaper price. Um, from the time being, since I started this channel, I've been doing them all myself, uh, but we'll see how things go. I, I, I might start hiring somebody to actually do my thumbnails for me. And next up we have here is the average view duration. My average view duration goes between four to five-ish minutes, depending on the video. Keep in mind, this video was about, um, I don't know how long it was. I think it was about 10-ish or 12 minutes long. Um, so this average view duration is probably about 40 to 50% of the video, which is a pretty good benchmark to go for, to go for. I find like if I upload a video that's eight minutes long, it tends to get like a four minute ish, assuming it's a decent video, right? It tends to get like a three, 3.5 to four ish average view duration, which is about 50% of the video. If I upload a video that's like 12 minutes long, it tends to get five to six ish average view duration. So if you can get that 50% kind of average view duration, I think you're going to be doing pretty good. And the last thing I've been doing on this channel that's a lot different uh, than what I've done in the past. I've actually been using the community tab a lot more. Uh, if you guys are viewers of my channel, you know that I've been publishing these little polls here and there. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to find what type of content you guys actually want to see. So what I'm basically doing is I'm taking videos that I've looked up and researched that I think are have a lot of search traffic, I think could do well to pull people into the channel. And then I'm basically giving, I'm grabbing a couple of those and I'm throwing them in a poll. 
and I'm pulling my audience to see what they want to watch. And I don't know, like, I don't know how you guys feel about that. Like, if you guys are regular viewers of my channel, maybe you can let me know in the comments section uh, if you think this is a cool idea. I think it's a cool idea because it allows me to take content out there, see what you guys like to watch, and then I can produce videos that will get more views, help grow the channel more, and you guys can actually see the content that you want to watch. Um, so it's been pretty cool, and a lot of people have been participating. You see my last poll I published uh, two days ago. I had 56 people vote. You know, that's, that's a good chunk of people. So it allows me to see what you guys want to see here. And I think that's a cool thing that I think a lot of people don't do. Um, and I think that's definitely something if you guys have the community tab, you should take advantage of that, like pull in your audience, see what they want to see and stuff like that, because then you can just make your content better. Um, so it's a good, good thing I've been starting to do. And every single video that I've like, I've kind of done this way has done significantly better than my other videos I've done. So definitely going to be doing that going into the future. Um, and of course the summary overall here is we have 1,469 subscribers, uh, plus 266 in the last 30 days. We'll take a peek at that. Um, here's a summary here on the side. Views are down because I had a couple viral videos um, last month. I, I did a couple Air Canada videos and they got tons of views from social media. Um, so those views are down a little bit, but organically the views overall on the channel are up quite a bit. Uh, same with the watch time and same with the re uh, revenue overall. Um, so even though like some of the videos that kind of did um, I guess kind of shut up and did really well the views are down organically the channel is growing and that's the most important thing because that, that's something you can consistently control right like you can't control when a video gets popular or when YouTube kind of pushes it out there but what you can control is that consistent traffic that you're getting and that has been growing on the channel so let's check out the revenue here I'm going to my analytics really quickly guys and we'll go um, let's go for I guess since this is June we'll, we'll check out June analytics here and here's my June analytics overall once again you can see here that we're getting about 1122 views per day on the channel which is quite a bit I mean that's about five to six hundred views a day whenever I publish a new video on the channel this number significantly significantly goes up especially since I do get about I want to say about two to three hundred views per video um, Lately, it's been a lot more because since I've been producing content, I'm trying to find, I'm, I'm starting to kind of find some content that people tend to like more on the channel and it, and it do has, has to do with the theme of like Canadian stock picks and stuff like that. Um, so I have been noticing since doing those videos that the views have been going up. So every time I publish a video, the views significantly go up and I'm going to show you guys that like publishing videos on a regular basis is the most important thing to do as long as they're decent quality videos it's probably the most important thing you can do to grow your channel and increase your views and you know increase your subscribers and increase your ad revenue and whatnot so once again to go over to the views here we can see here that we're going up about yeah about 500 views a day 600 um, you can see here whenever I don't publish a video see right here we had a little bit of a dip where I didn't publish a video um, it does go down quite a bit and when I publish a video it goes up and right around this time zone when I published my number one Canadian dividend stock video my views went up significantly um, this is one of the poll videos that I did like I talked about I pulled my audience and, and they voted heavily in favor of this video so I published it and you can see here like right here you know the views shut up quite a bit then I started publishing more videos like I try to publish a video every two days and if I can't do it two days I do it definitely three days so that's like three to four videos per week I try to publish on the channel um, and it really does help the channel grow as you can you guys can see we've had some pretty good view days in the past couple days I think my highest view day was 786 views in one day and that was when I published my last um, dividend investing case study so the views are going up and, and it does make a big difference in terms of watch time as you guys can see um, you know publishing more videos does increase your watch time as well watch time isn't as important now since the channel is monetized but I think what watch time is important is for ranking videos and stuff like that and um, when it comes to watch time the only advice I can give you guys is to make longer videos but not super long videos because in the end what's going to increase your watch time the most is to make you know make videos around the five to ten minute mark maybe uh, but also make sure they get views um, if you can do that then you're going to increase your watch time um, and that's probably the best way to do it in regards to subscribers uh, the channel subscribers like the funny thing about subscribers is some days you'll get tons of subscribers and other days you're not going to get lots and it, they come and they go like and the funny thing about it is you'll see here once when I published my once I started publishing content that like I pulled my audience for and I noticed that people t tended to like more not only did my views go up and my earnings as I'll show you guys in a second but also my subscriber base went up a lot here you can see like 16 subscribers and like back here we were getting like you know like six seven we then we'd have a day where we'd get 17 it just go up like crazy and then back down to nine and then 10 and 13 and six and five and then seven and then you know we had a couple 
couple I don't know if like the, there just wasn't much traffic on YouTube these days but like not very many subscribers and then they shot back up then it went back down shot back up so it was very like up and down kind of thing uh, but what I've noticed recently since I started publishing videos that tend to do a little bit better on my channel and my audience tends to like a little bit more I've noticed that the subscriber rates have been a lot more consistent as you guys can see here it, it's not like super high but our low days are still pretty you know decent like instead of getting like you know two or three subscribers on my lower days I'm getting like 7, 8, um, 11, 7, 12, 10, 11, 21 we had a 21 subscriber day that was huge that's when I um, um, most of the, that, those came from this video my top three undervalued Canadian dividend stocks video is that video just was really good for the channel um, so that grew it up and then 17 and 12 and 10 so as you guys can see here like you know it does kind of pick up over time as long as you like you're producing good quality content that your audience actually wants to see and of course when it comes to ad revenue which everybody wants to see of course um, this is some of the important things um, that I want to mention here is that as you do more videos that get more views and your audience likes you will for sure make more money because you're just getting more views you get more subscribers and then every single video you publish after that as your channel is growing more significantly will just get more views more subscribers and then you'll just earn more ad revenue as you guys can see here when I first like in the beginning of June and this is like we got monetized um, I'm just gonna show you guys in May we got monetized towards the end of May so this is what we were making towards the end of May for the couple days we had we're getting like a dollar dollar two dollars you know kind of thing and then in June here um, once again, we had a couple bigger days, like we had a three dollar day, which was huge. I published a video, you know, did pretty good, and then it went down, and then went up, and, and we were still we were still getting like one two dollars a day kind of thing, um, you know. And then once I started publishing be like better videos, you could see it went up to three dollars, two dollars, three dollars, two dollars, two fifty, three dollars, uh, two fifty one, five dollar day, and then two forty seven, and then three dollars, and then going into July, you know, the revenue has been really good too. Um, it's just kind of kicked up four dollars, three dollars, three dollars, two dollars, two dollars. You know, like it's been a lot more consistent since I published videos that people actually want to watch and stuff like that. And once again, that's one of the most important things I want to say is like find videos that your audience wants to watch, experiment, and then whatever videos get the most subscribers, just do more videos like that. And that's kind of what I'm I'm trying to do for this channel to help it grow and stuff like that. So total revenue in June from ads alone was six sixty four dollars. And before we, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys. Um, some other ways I've been making revenue with which is with affiliate marketing I started affiliate marketing on this channel in June as well um, so I'll go over that towards the end of the video but I just want to go over some more stats here before we get to that and once again here's my videos that are making me the most income here um, let's, I'll just bring them up in my analytics so you guys can see whoops let's go back here in terms of revenue and you guys can see here in terms of revenue these are my most popular videos. So uh, my, my most vid popular video in terms of revenue is the one that got the most views <laughs> uh, for, for the month as you guys can see here. It's got 1,281 estimated monetized playbacks with $9 and then my Wolf Simple Review video which I published like this has been the best video on my channel since I, I started it. It's maybe $8 and then my number one Canadian dividend stock video maybe $4 and then my Milo Review which I published a little while back in April Maybe me three dollars so as you guys can see the nice thing I like about this channel is like the revenue is consistent across the board which makes me feel good because this means that every single video I publish on my channel is gonna help grow the channel and help me earn more income um, so this is really nice to see because like on, on some channels you'll have like one video that makes the bulk of the income and then you'll just have some other other videos that kind of just make like little pennies if you will kind of thing but in this channel like the one thing I really like is it seems like a lot of people are liking my overall content on the channel and that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get people to watch like not just one video but come to the channel and kind of binge watch my videos and stuff like that and you can see that like it, it's kind of reflective of that because even my older videos are making some money like it's not like tons but hey look we have an older video here you know that I published um, back in April you know that's like what April May June July. that's like two three months ago made me a dollar this month you know that's not a lot of money but like it adds up over time especially when you have a bunch of these videos so uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited about that and I'm glad that you know people are watching like a lot of videos on my channel and as long as you can like make a channel based around one subject there's no reason why people wouldn't be interested in your older videos right like they find your channel um, you know they like one of your videos and then YouTube will just start recommending your older content to them and that's how you just kind of like that's why it's important to, to pick a channel pick one topic 
and focus on that one topic and you keep the things in a niche because then you know like people will watch your older videos and whatnot and once again here's my top earning videos here and and may we made twelve dollars and in june we made sixty four dollars and these are the different video, the ad types. And as you guys can see, those skippable annoying ads that play at the start of the video, they make you the most money, <laughs> obviously. So um, here's the stats here. The RPM is basically my um, CPM rate. So this is the playback based CP CPM rate, which went up a little bit. It's not super high, like $10 isn't a high CPM. I'm looking at ways I can increase this, but um, so it's $9. And the RPM is basically my share of that CPM. So I'm getting about $4.5 per thousand views, which isn't a ton, but you know what? It's not that bad. I know some people who get a lot less. Um, so I also know a lot of people who get a lot more. So going into the future, I'm going to try to find some ways to increase my CPM. Uh, but I think a lot of it has to do with like, um, like making videos that do well. And then obviously your niche and stuff like that. So I'm going to do just a little bit of experimenting in the future to try to increase my CPM rate because that would mean more more ad, re ad revenue and whatnot, um, but I'm not too sure. I gotta kind of research that and look in and try some different things. Um, but what what I have noticed is like the CPM rates are, are way like up and down. Like some days are really high as you guys can see here. We have ten dollars, ten dollars, then we have seven dollars, and you know five dollars, and then seven dollars, then eleven dollars, then eight dollars, then twelve dollars. Like it's all across the board. So um, I'm not too sure if that's like a reflection of like things going in business right now with everything kind of up and down and, and with the stock market and everything like that right so i'm not too sure if that kind of ha plays a plays a role in that also keep in mind this channel is like predominantly canadian based so a lot of the uh the viewers are canadian so maybe canadian country like because of you know i'm advertising to canadians maybe the cpm rates are a little bit low in that regard than if i like had a u.s based channel uh, i'm not too sure but um that is something i'm going to kind of look into in the future and of course, before we get into the affiliate marketing side of things, I just wanted to kind of convert everything to Canadian dollars because since I am Canadian, a lot of you guys who watch this channel are Canadians as well. I want to show you guys how much I'm actually making in Canadian dollars because remember the US dollar is worth a lot more than the Canadian dollar. So remember in the US we're making about 60 something, I think it was like $64 or something like that. Um, in, in regards to Canadian dollars, I'm actually making $90. So um, it's, it's funny because like my, my CPM rate when it was American was like nine dollars right but my CPM rate because it's Canadian dollars is twelve dollars actually in Canadian dollars so it's a little bit more so um, you know it's a nice little bonus to have like when the US dollar goes up I guess I get paid a little bit more um, so that's kind of nice in that regard um, but I wanted to show you guys just because I think that's more reflective of what I'm actually earning because I am Canadian right so I'm getting ninety dollars in Canadian for my ad revenue and my first real month on YouTube so even though this isn't like a crazy amount of money, I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And if we go lifetime uh, to our ad revenue here, we can see here that the it is growing. You know, like it's slowly getting there, but it is growing. As you guys can see, like it's not crazy or anything like that, but it is growing. We haven't had any crazy spikes yet or anything like that, but it's just slow, consistent growth. And honestly, guys, I'd be happy with the slow, consistent growth. And eventually, at some point in time, I know like some videos will kind of get picked up and, you know, it will grow the channel. So we're kind of waiting for that to happen. And when that does happen, I'm going to like, you know, really focus on pumping out content uh, to help grow the channel when it does. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Like, you never know. Like, maybe in the future when you guys are watching this video and the channel does blow up, It'd be kind of funny, right? Uh, but we're just going to keep pushing. We're going to keep doing the consistent content, consistently growing the channel, and hopefully over time that will happen because I've watched some older YouTuber videos and stuff like that, and every single channel starts off like this. And then at some point in time, YouTube will take a video and kind of throw it out there, and that's where they get that growth. So we're just kind of waiting for that to happen. Uh, but as you guys can see here, like the, the channel is growing, uh, as you guys can see here. So that's good to see. Um, so let's jump over to our affiliate marketing and I'm going to show you guys how much money I've been making for my first month uh, with affiliate marketing on this channel as well. All right, guys. So we're inside my uh, my affiliate uh, dashboard here on Impact Radius. And Impact Radius is basically affiliate marketing platform that advertisers use to, you know, you sign up and then you can, you know, apply to different programs. And the funny thing about affiliate marketing is I wanted to get affiliate marketing because I've done it in the past and I know affiliate marketing does work. Um, and it's a great way to help make supplemental income on a YouTube channel. Uh, but the funny thing about it is I have been a affiliate marketer, I guess, of Wealthsimple for quite a while. And Wealthsimple has a program where if people sign up and use Wealthsimple, it's basically the main investing platform that I use on my channel. Um, they get like a $10,000 managed for free. So they don't have to pay any fees. And then I get my money managed for free uh, too as well. So I don't really earn any income directly from their program. 
um, but it's kind of like a friend referral service. So what I did is I, I emailed Wolfsump and I was like, hey guys, like you know what? I've referred like 75 people to your platform, so I have like $750,000 managed for free, but I only have like, I don't, I'm don't i never going to use that, right? Like So so I emailed them and I was like, hey look, you know, I, I've referred a lot of people. Is there any better option you can give me not only for my visitors, but also for myself to make a little bit of extra money? And they were they, they got back to me in a couple days and they said, yeah, we got this extra program that's kind of more geared towards people who, who can refer a lot of people and, and they make more you know money from it um, which is really nice for them to set, set that up for me so if you guys are like a you know growing your business or anything like that don't be afraid to email companies and be like hey look you know what I, I have this this YouTube channel or this website whatever it is you have do you guys have like any better offers you can give me kind of thing and work with them kind of thing and what they did is they gave me um, this link here and this link I put this link at the bottom of my videos right here it's in the description here, and it says, use my special link and get a $50 bonus to Wealth Simple. So people click that link, it takes them to this page, and this is like a unique offer. I haven't seen anybody else have this offer for Wealth Simple. And if they sign up for an account and they deposit a minimum $500, I get paid $50, and they get paid $50. So each of us get 50 bucks for using that link. So if you guys are making a Wealth Simple account and you guys would rather take $50, other than fees, um, use that link because that link will. It, all you have to do is put a minimum of five hundred dollars, and then you'll get that fifty dollar bonus. Um, so it only works with both simple invest. Uh, but if you want to get uh, start with investing, use that link and you'll get fifty bucks for free, and I'll also get fifty bucks as well. And I greatly appreciate that. Um, so I threw those links up kind of towards the end of the month. It was, I think it was like about the twenty fifth here. So even after just a couple days. Um, we actually got a referral. Somebody clicked the link and somebody put in five hundred dollars, and we got fifty bucks. So it felt pretty cool, um, you know. So affiliate marketing is definitely something I'm going to be using in the future. I don't know how well it's going to do in the grand scheme of things, but like you know, if I can make an extra fifty bucks here and there, um, or maybe like a couple hundred bucks a month, uh, like it's going to be cool. It's going to help out. It's going to really make it more realistic for me to do this full time if it ever gets to that point and I'll give you guys a quick little sneak peek and um, I guess this month in July I also got one referral as well I got $50 referral um, so yeah it, it might make a couple bucks here and there we'll have to wait and see obviously as the channel grows and stuff like that it might make more but we'll have to just wait and see but it's a nice little way to make a little bit extra income and once again guys I am going to share everything with you guys here um, so you guys, I'm going to be fully transparent here so you guys can see everything I'm doing on the channel and you guys can see how I'm growing. So I just wanted to share that in with you. So I guess with affiliate marketing and all the ad revenue uh, added together, that's about um, 140-ish dollars we made on the channel in our first real month on YouTube. So 140 bucks, pretty happy with that. Um, I think that's a pretty good. I think that's pretty good for the first month. You know, um, last month we made about in uh, what was it June? I'm just gonna bring it up here really quickly. In June, uh, no, not June. Sorry, June is in May. We made seventeen dollars. So in June, we made one hundred forty dollars. So I think that's a pretty big step up, and I think we did pretty good. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section of the video. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything I didn't cover that you guys want to see, uh, let me know in the comment section. And next time, next month when I do this, I'll bring it up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a spreadsheet like I do with my dividend investing case studies, where every single month I'll write down how much we made and stuff like that, and maybe like we can track our you know, our views, our subscribers, and our revenue a little bit easier, and we can bring that up so you guys can see, like, per month how well the channel was done. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, take care, guys, and I just want to say really quickly, if you guys are a YouTuber and you do finance YouTube videos or anything in regards to anything, you know what, guys? If you keep at it and you keep working at it, you will get somewhere. Uh, it took me seven months to get to where I am with this channel right now, so it does take hard work. But if you keep at it, you will you will get there. So I just want to say it really quickly. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. Take care, and I'll see you guys later.